All right, talking with Claremont Hood Scripps, uh, moving on to the regional final after a four-set win over Southwestern. Uh, first of all, congratulations on a great win, and Coach first, just uh, give us your thoughts on tonight's match. Uh, worth the price of admission. Uh, you know that. In all reality, that looked like an Elite Eight matchup, maybe a Final Four matchup. Both those teams had a ton of momentum going into this tournament, and uh, unfortunately, we're just in a really tough region that's really, really deep. You've got four out of the top six teams in the country in the same region and fighting it out, so it, it's anybody's match, but obviously sitting here, I'm happy that it's ours and really proud of a good team effort, and every night it's some, somebody different for this team, and, and that's what makes this team so much fun and so interesting, and honestly, I, I'm as big a fan of this team as I am a coach of this team. Uh, Mario, Melody, uh, first set happens, you guys fall behind early on, but you really get on a, a nice run towards the end, and you're almost able to take that first set. But it seems like you guys were able to carry some momentum over the first set going forward. Talk about what you guys were able to do uh, at, towards the end of that first set to kind of take control of the match. Sure. Um, I think we realized that it wasn't going to be an easy win by any means and that, you know, we'd really have to grind out every single point and look to each other. And I think we kind of learned how to, you know, really go on the offensive when we needed to and when to look towards the other players on the court and when to use their momentum. And, and we were really kind of feeding off each other's energy, um, you know, right up at the end of that first set. And we carried that over, I think, so well into the other three. Um, and it really kind of it carried us throughout the whole game. That just really steady energy allowed us to get that win, which was awesome. Yeah, like what Margo said, um, I think that we really just like buckled down and realized that the first set was like we were just finding our groove and working through the matchup. Um, and once we did that, we like came together as a team and like knew what we had to do and took that momentum to the next three sets. Both mentioned momentum. Talk a little bit about the momentum you each had, both doing an incredible job offensively and defensively. Talk about what you were seeing uh, from the Pirates that Gave you so much momentum. Sure. Um, you know, I, I'm so used to swinging line and having that open, and I just didn't have that tonight. And so I knew I had to kind of work with the blocks and really keep my eyes open and see what was available. And so I was hitting angle and really trying to open up those seams and, and hit that hard tee shot. And, you know, I just had to know that not every swing I was going to get was going to be a kill, but I just had to really go into it and try to take players out, just really swing smart. And I think that, again, the other girls were able to feed off that energy. And, you know, even if I didn't get a kill, we would come back and reset and get that kill the next you know the next time the ball came over and it was really kind of good for for us to have have that momentum throughout the whole match it was great yeah I think it had to let a lot to do with like playing smart and like knowing like what was open on the court I'm just like having trust in the teammates and knowing that the set was going to be there and if it wasn't like keep the ball in I think that's what really carried the team it's just like having like confidence in each other and that like built our fire <laughs> Coach, talk about the defensive effort tonight. It seemed like you guys uh, did a lot of good things. Uh, you seemed to keep Southwestern on the balance a little bit on their attack. And, and I got to be honest, your, your digging seemed incredible at times. But <laughs> really, it really gets, gets balls up that, you know, almost like there was no chance. Talk about a couple of other defense tonight. Yeah, you know, we, we had seen quite a bit of Southwestern, obviously, live and, and on film, but, you know, you got to give them credit. They're one of the best teams in the entire country, and honest, honestly, in my opinion, they're maybe the best team in the country in finding open space. I mean, those players, they don't have to hit hard to score, and, and we knew that, and we knew that defensively they're not going to hit where we are. I think that they're, you know, I've known Don a long time. He's an incredible coach, and he's an incredible volleyball mind. So, you know, our game plan was to really think about moving into open space and really trying to see the hitters and, and find the pattern. And, and, you know, you look at somebody like Mitchell who just keeps coming at you and she's relentless and, you know, it, it, she's a hard one to stop. I mean, she only had two errors in the entire match and, you know, still found ways to score. So defensively, it was just a matter of really setting our block and being patient, slowing down our block a little bit so our defenders could get wide and kind of see the hitter. Um, and we did a great job. I think we had a good game plan. And after that first set, and when we got, grabbed that momentum, we discussed, you know, use defensive momentum. Don't worry about the offense. It's going to be there. Um, so when you talk about defensive momentum, I think that really disrupts teams more than anything else. Mm -hmm. And speaking of momentum, so, so the third set, you guys get a little bit of a lead. You have a nice lead. And then Southwestern storms back, actually gets set point. And you guys are able to close that set with three straight points. Obviously, a little bit of a scare there in the third set. It seems like there was a little bit of a momentum surge that went into the fourth set where you guys were able to dominate it and close the match out at 25 14. 
Uh, did you guys have some momentum finishing off that third set after you know coming so close to it, uh, almost going to the Pirates? Yeah, I think the real answer is no. Um, we just tried to be composed, even myself as a coach. You know, do you use that timeout at 24? Or do you just put confidence in your kids? So really by not calling the timeout, I tried to show my team that we were composed, um, screaming in my head a little bit, honestly, because I know Southwestern is a good team and, and they had the momentum. So I think if you can show composure in these big le high leverage situations, you're going you're gonna to do well. And I think that building confidence is ultimately what matters most, because even if they win that set, there's still a lot of volleyball left to play and it might come down to the fifth set. Well, obviously, a big win tonight against one of the top teams in the nation. You got another one coming up tomorrow. Uh, regional <laughs> final, top ranked team in the nation, Colorado College. I want to ask all three of you, uh, and we'll start with the student athletes, just the excitement level. It's going to be a big match, a big time field against a very, very good team. Just uh, what's the student excitement level be playing in the regional final? I think, you know, it's especially being a senior, we've all the hours in the gym that we've put in and just, you know, really getting to know each other, get comfortable with each other. I think we're going to rely on those just really fundamental relationships that we've built the entire season. And the girls are really pumped to, to really have a matchup, especially, you know, the, we played CC last year in the regionals and we lost to them in the first round. And so, you know, we've had a chip on our shoulder for the entire year. We've had a lot of time to think about that match, to, to really think about our skills and what we can bring this season. And I think it's going to be a really fantastic matchup tomorrow. Yeah, we've been working so hard just to get to this point. And I think like to have this opportunity, especially for me as a freshman, is just like really exciting. Um, and it's like, I think we're all just ready to play. Yeah, I mean, it seems like we run into Colorado every year. So uh, some things never change, I guess. And uh, yeah, I think we'll be ready. You know, at this point, the, when that whistle blows, seeds don't matter, rankings don't matter. Um, it's in between the lines at that point. So, you know, hopefully we put out a good effort and, and come out on top. Congrats on the win, guys. Thank you Thank so you much. Very much. Thanks.